Welcome to Sippin' Tea with V. It's your girl V Brown, and y'all already know what we're talking about. It's Sunday, so we're talking about them Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion part one. I can't wait to get into it, y'all, because it was juicy tonight. So before I do that, I'm going to let y'all know what I'm drinking on. So right here, I got me some Hennessy. Y'all already know what it do. Hen dog, that bottle, you know, it's getting lower and lower over time. But that's what I'm sipping on. And then I'm sipping on that with some Sprite. So we got that popping. And let me just take a sip of my drink and let's see. Now don't ask me why I always hold it the wrong way. Whichever way I pick it up, honey, that's the way I'm sipping out of it. <laughs> It's really good. Mm -hmm. ah. All right, so let's see what we got here. Pull up these real housewives. All right, so this reunion starts off with Phaedra calling Jesus on the main line. Yes, God, okay? I said, honey, we're going to need more than just Jesus. We're going to need Jesus, all his disciples. To make it through this reunion, part one, two, and three. Okay, because if part one, if this is how part one gonna go, we gonna need part two and three. We gonna need his disciples. We gonna need everybody under the sun. Okay, this it's gonna take a village to get through this. <laughs> so, um, to me, the best complete overall look went to Candy. I really love her full look, the hair. Um, the dress, I loved it all, her full look. Let me see, makeup wise, I'm going to get back to y'all makeup wise. I think it's going to be Sheree though, but she's not out yet. So we at the beginning of the reunion, she didn't come out yet. But I think I'm going to give it to Sheree, I'm not sure yet. And I haven't seen Nene, but I do like Nene's cat suit she had on. That was really cute. Um, so overall look goes to Candy. Hair. Now, we're going to get to that in a minute because y'all know how I feel about that heifer. Now, Kenya is mad because Phaedra called her oatmeal pie face, right? She mad. You mad? Okay, be mad. But like Phaedra said, she didn't attack her skin. or She didn't attack her, per se, like her full on her looks and all that. She said, I attacked your skin. And truth be told, and y'all know I done said it plenty of times throughout my reviews and my recaps, Kenya does have bad skin. I mean, it's the truth. So, it's like, you a pretty girl, but you have bad skin. Truth is truth. Uh, I mean, truth be told. So, I'm just going to sip my tea on that honesty and that truth. Hmm. I'm trying to say, just like... I can understand Kenya coming out with a hair care line, but I couldn't see her coming out with a skin care line. Because how you going to try to sell me something that you ain't even doing yourself, clearly, or it's not working on you because your skin bad? Just some honesty, just some truth. Now, Kenya in this make-believe skin care line that had water in the bottle and lotion in the containers... Girl, let me tell you, you talking about you'll be in CVS stores. And CVS, um, what you said, in six months? Okay, in, in CVS, just like you'll be done with the structure, that house, that um, more manor, in three months. I'm still waiting on that. So, I guess we just going to hold our breath and wait on you to be in CVS stores. And what you said, six months. Sip my tea on that, child. Sip my tea on that. Ain't nobody about to play with you, can you? Girl, stop. Now, besides me not liking Kenya... Her characteristics and the character that she plays on the show. Because I don't know her in real life. So, you know, I ain't going to go as far as say I hate her and this, that, and other. But I do not like her. I do not like her as a person on the show. I do not like her character. And I do not like her characteristics or the role that she has taken on. Um, now, I do like your hair. Now, her hair was cute on the reunion. You know, with the big curls and this big hair. That's my thing. Y'all haven't. I don't think y'all. Did y'all see me yet with big hair? I don't think I've had big hair on this channel yet, but I love me some big curly hair. Oh, yes, honey. I got a Diana Ross uh, wig. So cute. Mm -hmm. I might just have to bring that out for y'all. <laughs> All right. Now, let's see. 
And like Candy said, um, they went to talking about this whole thing where Ty stepped out when she was, you know, they were at the doctor appointment to see um, baby Ace. And, um, yeah, Ty st stepped out to take a call. But like Candy said, more people worried about Ty leaving to go take a phone call. Candy wasn't worried about Ty getting getting that check. I mean, shoot, that's what she wanted. She went past up a check and... Um, she wouldn't pass up a check and she doesn't want him to either. So I don't blame her or him for taking that call. Now I do know in my recap of my review I did um, say, you know, come on Todd, now hold on now. Don't be taking no calls during the doctor's appointment. But then again I thought about it, shooting the world we living in, a check is a check. And when it's time to get it and the phone ringing, you better answer, okay? Hello, sip some tea on that. Get that check, Todd. I don't know if we're going to have any tea left. By the time I get done with this um, this reunion child, I was sipping tea all over the place watching the show. Now we go into Sheree. I loved Sheree's shortcut. I never imagined her with um, with a shorter hairstyle because you know she always wore the long curls. But I'm digging her short bob cut. It's like a choppy cut. I loved it. The way it was styled and everything. And her makeup was popping. So like I said, I did give Sheree um, best makeup as of today. Now, next week when I see the show, even though it's going to be the same setup, same women, same dresses, same outfit, the same look, it's all one show, I may have a different opinion. You know, I'm a woman and I'm entitled to, I'm entitled to change my opinion. So, you know, we'll see where that goes. So... Baby Sheree say, Miss Kenya better dust off that crown before she tries to come for her. I was like, I know that's right, honey. Dust it off because, boo, you going to meet your real match, the real crown holder, okay? Now, Kenya, you're not even a fit for the show. So, if you to sit up there and say Kim isn't a fit, I mean, you're not a fit for the show. You're not a fit for this, these group of women, like, but you're going to try to come, you going to try to come for, for uh, Kim. Girl, get out of here. And hold on, Kim. Now, you can't say in one breath, you can't say you shy. And most people don't know that you're shy. And, you know, um, even though you're an actress, you're not, you're not big on, you know, talking to people and things like that. And then turn it around in the next breath and say, you know, you mean what you say and say what you mean. Something ain't right there, boo-boo. Something, something ain't right. I'm, I'm, I'm just... That don't add up. I'm just saying. You know, I love you, Kim, but that, that don't add up, honey. We're gonna have to re we have to reevaluate that. Come back and, and say it again. Now it seems like to me, Sheree is speaking of She's speaking up more because she's trying to get that spot for next season. She I don't I don't think she's gonna get the peach. I think she's gonna come back as a friend. But I do think, you know, that's why she's trying to speak up a little bit more. But I'm glad they did give, did give her the right to um, actually come on the show and, you know, speak up piece. Because, you know, she did have some important parts of the show dealing with Tammy and Bob and, you know, things like that. Um, but Shamia, the friend of Portia, she, you know, I don't think she was invite, invited to the reunion. Hmm. I wonder why. Because she was a, a prospect to be an Atlanta housewife. So I, I guess that didn't go over so well, and maybe she didn't make the show. So, um, oh shit! Now we have to talk about Candy and Phaedra. Y'all already know how I feel about feel about talking about Candy and Phaedra's friendship and what it what they went through and what they're going through. It's a touchy situation because they were both real friends. Um, Phaedra, you did go all the way in on Todd throughout the entire season. Um, and Candy, in that aspect, you're a better woman or more of a woman than I can ever be because when it comes to friend, foe, and whatever, at the end of the day, Todd is your husband. Not your boyfriend, not your boy toy. He is your husband. And you you are to protect that union at all regards. So when someone, a friend, is coming at that and, and, and jeopardizing that and, and speaking ill intent on your husband, you know, it, it must be addressed. And but what I will say is, you are morally balanced because you said you know I think that's where me and Phaedra differ because Phaedra doesn't mind going all the way in, but I have never touched that line of friendship and stepped over and you know went all the way in when I could have. Cause I'm I'm sure Candy, I know you know some things, so I'm sure you could have took that route and went went full all the way in. 
So, you know, I'm proud of you in that aspect. Now, the Candy Coated Click, child. Mainly Don Juan, because I feel like it's Don Juan Click all by himself. He's over-aggressive ass. Um, I think he forgets that these are women. These are not, you know, drag queens. These are not, um, you know, it's, it's just not what he's used to. These are women. And at the end of the day, he's a male. So when you come at a woman aggressively, um... In that point, when she, you know, reacts in, you know, well, I'm just going to have my brother handle this. Or I'll just get my uncle to handle this or my, uh, my cousin to handle this. At that point, it's taking to another level because you are a male coming out at a woman this way. Very aggressive. Don Juan is a very aggressive individual. He is. And I know he go hard for candy. And I understand him. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to go hard for my friends too. But there comes a time, a day, a place. In a way, and he 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 doesn't choose wisely. Now, if I go in and let have, it's gonna be the truth. Let's be clear. Yes, Candy. I said Candy had Candy must have hung around her some good old drag queens, some transgender women. Candy must have had her a good old uh, uh upgrade on a reading um session because baby, I was like, okay, go in and let have, boo boo. Now, I know that's right, Candy. Let me just say that knowing you have been friends with Don Juan and Carmen since y'all were kids, I feel like for the show, there is a respect that should be there. I do know that I would have, I would have had my friends back in the same way. Um, I would have my friends back in the same way, but they would show my friends or, you know, people that I work with because at the end of the day, this is a job. Um, some respect. An aspect of don't get all up in my space, get all up in my face and think shit just going to be sweet. Because that's not how it's going to be. So, you know, I just think I just think things should be adjusted in that in that in that way. But, you know, we'll see what happens next season. Now, can you deserve what she got when Portia snatched her ass up by her hair? A person can only take so much. So when Kenya says, oh, I apologize to Kim Fields. Yes, you apologize to Kim Fields, but you still got in her personal space. And that could have went another route. And I know I said that later on. I'm going to say that later on. But it could have really got physical because you got right up into her space. I mean, come on now. You ain't have to snatch your chair out like that. And then the day y'all having a conversation. And I see, I feel like Kenny is the one who cannot control herself or handle herself. She always has to go to the next level. Now, let's see. Um, I don't know why, but Kenya has a hard on for Kim. And I, I, I just... I don't know if it's jealousy. I don't know if it's she brought Kim on the show to have someone to just pick, 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 pick at. But she has a hard on for Kim. She really does. And if that was your friend and you brought her on the show for good intentions, then I don't think that that would be happening. That I don't think that would be going on. Now, there, no, there are no similarities between Kim and Kenya's careers. Let's be clear. Kenya may have acted in more films. She may have been on more straight to DVD movies, um, mostly low budget, <laughs> but through her um, and, and all most of the films that I've seen her on, I think they've been done through her um, actual production company. So for her to say, you know, our careers are equal, they're not. Let's be clear, they're not. But Kim has acted on more classic shows. That will never be forgotten or sold at the Family Dollar Store. Because I've seen um, Kim's straight-to-DVD movies. I've seen them in a, a couple of dollar stores, you know, for $7.99 or $6.99. So, let's be clear, Kenya. Let's not get, you know, let's not get things twisted or, you know, forget get blurred lines. Because I feel like in your head, things are a little blurred and destroyed distorted so let's let, let's get that together let me sip some tea on that on Kim on Kenya getting it together mm. now this right here is the exact reason you can't allow anyone to do anything for you because they'll turn it on you the minute they get a chance and then claim how they got you on the show how they did this for you how you should basically kiss their ass because they helped you out. 
10 year girl by you was downright dirty and trashy for that because you 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 brought okay i give you that you maybe provided kim the platform or put her in front of the producers but at the end of the day what kim did while she was on the show was all kim not Kenya. So let's be clear. And then to call her call her and say she's at the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to housewives and you're the star of the show. And yes, you did say you're the star of the show. And like Kenya, um, like Kim sorry, like Candy had all these damn K names. Shit, I can't even keep up. Like Candy had to correct you and say, No, how are you gonna say that um Kim is wrong for speaking in third person and saying, I'm not third person, but speaking, you know, speaking great about herself and saying i'm kim fields bitch like how you gonna talk about her and say that when you turn around and say you the star of the show i'm sorry if i if i if i missed it or something but the star of the show i haven't seen you with one spinoff because your life isn't that interesting um you were on what was it celebrity apprentice um you know nene did that already so um i mean kim's doing dancing with the stars um kenya what have you done besides the show since you've been on the show please do tell i'll wait i'll wait i got time hold on let's see yep i got time Please let me know, because honey, I don't see it. Anyway, you getting into Kim's space uh, and her personal space could have resulted in a physical fight. And I just want to put that out there and let that be clear. Now, Sheree's side commentary was funny as hell. I was like, yes, yeah, Sheree. I see why they need a Sheree on the show. Like, we need someone to just keep us laughing on the side. She she sees everything and mentions everything. Like, girl, Paige, you crazy. <laughs> Girl, they a mess. Yes, this is the camera I've been waiting on. I love it. I love it. I love it. I wait on it, and I, I'm, I'm ready for it. So, um, and as far as Kim feels, you are Kim feels. So tell Kenya to fuck the fuck off, cause you are Kim. At the end of the day, and you have had classic roles that will never be forgotten. Now, Kenya, get ready to talk. Say something. King, King was like. Kim said, say so. Say it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Get her, Kim. Get her. Let her ass know. This is what I have wanted all season, honey. Get her ass. And Sheree, ooh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, Kim? Girl. <laughs> I was on the edge of my seat like it's about to go to fuck down and Kenya can't even handle it Kenya, Kenya was not ready for the Kim that showed up to the reunion see and maybe that's what it is maybe more so often when, when Kim brings her kids along you know she's in a different light she's in a different mind, uh, mind space and she's not thinking about reaching the level of pettiness and childishness and stupidness like someone who doesn't have kids Kenya but baby Honey, Kim say um, she did not bring the kids to the reunion because she didn't want to hear nobody's mouth. But she did show up to the reunion times two, and she's ready for whatever. So, um, Kenya, sit in your seat and look pretty and be prepared, okay? <laughs> now, this reunion showed a lot of things. One, Kenya has definitely been off of her meds for a very long time. Uh, and then Kim has more of a backbone than I could have ever thought. She will stand for herself and stand up for herself and her family and her kids. And she is not having it. Okay. Now, we have yet to crack the surface of Cynthia mess and also her Marshall. So, I'm sure we're going to be getting to her real soon because i seen Peter sitting on the couch too. Mm -hmm. um, now, Candy doesn't play about her people in her life. Period. Point blank. We already know that. She don't play about Mama Joyce. She don't play about Ace. She don't play about Riley. She don't play about Ty and and or Ty's daughter. So, um, you know, y'all already know not to play with Kim by when it comes to her family. Because she'll go 0 to 100 real quick. Okay? I see you. Remember she told Nene that? I see you. We see each other. Okay? <laughs> Phaedra has paid Ty all of his money. So, we 
there would not be any more discussion about that next season. Thank God, no storyline for next season. There will not be any talk about any paycheck that has not been paid. Thank you. And then Sheree, she trying all she can, honey, to get her spot on the next season. I see you, Sheree, girl. Keep working, girl. You might not have a peach in your hair next season, but you will definitely be on next season. Because we missed you, girl. Crazy ass. Anyway, y'all, that was my review and my recap of The Real Housewives of Atlanta Part 1 um, reunion. And, you know, I enjoyed it. You know, it's going to get better as it goes. You know, the first, usually the first uh, part is always you know the more calm collected part and i already see from the um from the previews of part two and three shit about to get real 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 okay um i'm i'm your girl v brown thank y'all for rocking with me let me go ahead and sip my tea real quick yes god remember always keep it sweet all right subscribe 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 like and share but definitely, above all, subscribe so y'all can stay in tune with what I'm reviewing. Tomorrow, we got Love and Hip Hop. What? New York Reunion. I'm ready for that, baby, because Cardi B is coming to take heads off, BBOD. Hmm. So, I am definitely ready for Love and Hip Hop New York Reunion. Um, and then Tuesday, we have what? Bad Girls Club. Episode 2 of Season 15, Twisted Sisters. So, I am ready for that. So, y'all stay tuned with me. Like, I'm reviewing and recapping. Like, no tomorrow. You know, I got no time to write. So, um, I'm going to need y'all to be watching. Okay? And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.